Hey guys, want to upgrade the look of Star Trek Online? Here's how. Before we jump into it, I just want to state that this is obviously a third party software, use at your own risk. I don't have any concerns of it ruining my PC or anything like that. Um, it took a little bit of work to get it to work properly, although it wasn't real bad. But again, you are modifying you know, the game to a certain degree. It's more of an overlay to the game, if you will. Um, but just take that into consideration. If you do have problems or you try it out and you don't want to keep it, um, in order to uninstall it, you will use the download file, which we'll go over here in just a moment. Um, the one you use to install the game, you'll just run that again, and it'll ask you if you want to modify it or remove it. Um, so I just want to make that clear before we jump into this video here. First, you're going to want to head over to reshade.me, scroll down to the bottom, and click the download button. I'll have the link in the description for you guys. Once you download it, go ahead and open the file and run it. Next, we're going to need to search for Star Trek Online. So you'll need to click on the Browse button and navigate to where the launcher is. Well, it's not the launcher, it's actually the application. It's going to be different in everybody's, but uh, we'll jump to the root um, where I have mine, and you, you'll have to just find yours probably on the C drive. You will click into the folder, click on Star Trek Online, and then click on the Live. Um, then you're going to want to go down to the X64 and find the executable file and select it. Once that's selected, go ahead and click the Next button. It'll detect which uh, graphics you're using. Most of us are probably going to have the DirectX 10 through 12. And uh, so you'll go ahead and uh, hit Next. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Next again. And we will select. I unselected and then reselected all of the default shader packs that they had um, just so all of them were installed. And then once you do that, go ahead and hit the Next button. It'll install of those. I skipped it ahead. It will take you a few moments. I pulled up the game and we went ahead and launched it to check it out. Super excited. And unfortunately, what happened next was a little bit of a bummer. So what I found is that I, I went through this a, a million times trying to figure out what, what the problem was. I use a a very wide monitor and so I run the game in windowed mode and every time I attempted to launch the game with it in windowed mode it would crash and so what I had to do is I had to go into the actual launcher click on options scroll down and launch the game in full mode full screen mode once I did that um, I had no problem so what I did is I launched it in full screen once the game loaded up and I was in. I went ahead and just went back to windowed mode and everything worked just fine. Um, so that is the workaround. If you install and you're having the problem where it's immediately crashing, the game needs to be launched in, in full screen mode, not windowed, full screen mode. Once you get fully in game, you'll see at the top there's a loading bar that will disappear once it is done. It is loading up all the potential effects and shaders that you can use. Um, so once that is complete, in order to access the menu for this add-on, what you're going to do is hit the home button on your keyboard. That's going to be right above your arrow keys. Um, once you click that button, you will be able to see a massive list of different kinds of shaders, effects, and all kinds of things like that. Now, on the bottom portion of that window is kind of a second window. As you click on different effects, it'll actually add it to that. So once you click a bunch of effects, you can scroll up and down on the bottom part of that window and make the adjustments. I've just started playing with this, so I'll do another follow-up video on um, what I've uh, you know, figured out that I like in terms of the way it looks. Everyone's going to have different tastes and those kinds of things. So I'd encourage you just to play with it, select the different options, and uh, make adjustments to those. So when you select an option down in that bottom window, you'll be able to move some of the settings around and make some adjustments to how that looks. Um, so I'd highly recommend playing with it. it, it it's a cool um, software. I've played with it a little bit. Um, right before making this video, um, the intro scene there at the beginning, I'll put it back up on the screen now. And um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Some of uh, what I've seen around, some people have done some really, really cool stuff. And uh, Kale did state also on live stream the other day that this is uh, something that is not a 
uh, issue in terms of terms of service. So just so we're clear on that, um, that is a non-issue just in case that question comes up. They've been working on this this reshade thing. I think it's called reshade. Um, it's a program that you can apply to your um, client that changes how some of the colors work and stuff. I think I don't know exactly how it works. Um, but I've been told it isn't violating anything, and it makes stuff look real pretty. So uh, check them out if you want to know more. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for at least getting you started. I'll have some follow-up videos on uh, you know best practices, how to use the software, and um, I'll probably put together some downloadable packs as well for what I'm using if you're interested in using that as well. So, all right, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments. Uh, if you have questions, hit up the Discord, link down in the description. Till next time, have a good one. Appreciate you watching. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.